Hey Leo, Mariah here. I'm going to go ahead and get into your reading. Hopefully all of you guys are doing really, really well, wherever you are and whenever you're watching this. So let's get into it. What do my Leos need to know, Spirit? I got your back. Always and forever. That's what I hear. I got your back always and forever. Four of Wands, Eight of Air in the reverse, Queen of Air, the Magician, Page of Water. Okay, Leo. You know how this, you know the name of this game and how it goes, but this is just, it feels like a heart to heart that I need to have with somebody, so you might as well go ahead. If this, if it's not going to resonate in the next two minutes, just go ahead and click off this video because this feels like a heart to heart. I'm hearing always and forever. I got your back. I'm hearing I'll move heaven and hell for you. As cliche as this may sound, but I'm also hearing no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Leo, what I'm truly feeling, and this is just coming straight from spirit, it don't matter how many times you feel like you're taking a misstep or you're feeling like the direction that you're going in, you're uncertain, but that's just where you're pulled. It doesn't matter how many times that you may feel uncertain about things, how uncomfortable things may seem, how surreal life may get. It's all a part of, of course, a higher plan and purpose, but there's somebody here in your energy, Leo. And that's the freaky part about this. There's somebody here, and again, this is like a heart-to-heart -to, -heart to somebody, so I, I know it's not going to resonate with all of you, but somebody's here in your energy. Because I'm all, like, I can just feel almost kind of like a body bodyguard type of thing. Not saying it's a bodyguard in your energy, but it's somebody putting a barricade around you so that way people who have in an ill intent situations that are meant to make you crumble and fall they can't fully get to you. There's there's a, a guardian here around you, Leo. You're divinely protected by a guardian. There's something specifically with the color orange. Orange. There's something specific here about the number seven. There's something specific here about a name that starts with an A. There's something specific here. I'm getting 1987. I don't know who that's for. I don't know if this was somebody's birth year, somebody's death year. 1987 and 1993. But the number seven is sticking out to me, Leo. The best way that I can put this energy here for you is that you're cultivating not only, of course, what it is that you want, but you're doing, I'm not going to deny this to you, and this is kind of freaking me out, Leo, doing your read a little bit. It's like you're doing the divine's work, but it's it's something weird about this. It's You're doing the divine's work unintentionally, and you feel like you're not accomplishing what you're supposed to be doing, but you're really actually are accomplishing what you're supposed. It's so freaky. Let me, because I'm just channeling completely. I'm not even looking at the cards. I mean, I'm using them, but I'm not using them. You're doing spirit work, but you're doing it unintentionally. If you catch my drift, meaning that the actions, the paths, the, the direction that you're going towards, you're being led by spirit to do spirit's bidding. Not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. You're meant to be a vessel and you're being used for a higher service, a higher calling, and a higher purpose to transform other people's lives. The people that you come in contact with, everyone that you meet, has a energetic residue from you and of course people we meet etc but you time goes on and you forget them there's something about your specific energy here leo that i'm tapping into that your energetic residue is not forgotten meaning 
Somebody can look back and remember, oh my goodness, I remember when Leo said these nice words to me. I remember when Leo did this nice gesture, gesture for me. I will never forget it because I've never had that. You're doing spirits bidding. You're putting blessings into people's lives that have not experienced that blessing, no matter how small it may be. Even just a nice thank you. I'm proud of you. Thank you for assisting me. Thank you for being there. There's something that's about these small gestures or even gestures that are larger that the people that you're blessing and touching every hand, every person, every body that you're passing your energy towards. It's something that you're leaving your energetic residue on them that is unforgettable. And they look at that and reflect on that and say, wow, Leo, sorry for touching the mic, but Leo just did this for me. And I couldn't even get that on my, that treatment for my own family. Or Leo just did this kind gesture for me and I couldn't get that from, you know, my parents or, you know, my siblings or my friends. But Leo, this stranger or Leo, this person I would have never thought or Leo, it's like you're doing spirits bidding. And I it's such the freakiest thing to touch on this energy, Leo. And that's why I'm just kind of not to be as animated as I am, but it's so freaky. Because you are literally doing spirits work on a daily basis. You are literally blessing people as you go throughout life. And I don't know if you know that this is happening, right? You may be thinking it's of goodwill or I got a good heart or, you know, it's just a gesture. I want to pass on the kindness. I want to treat others the way I would like to be treated or I want to treat others the way that I never received as treatment right logical way to think about it that's not that's but there's a deeper layer here that i'm feeling energetically spirit spirit leo there's a deeper layer here leo see yes on the surface sure it's all those things but again spirit spirit put the <laughs> Spirit put the energy within you. Spirit put the word in your ear. Spirit put the motive and motivation within your body, within your soul, within your being to be that way, to be a walking light in this world. And that's what you're doing. And again, I feel like this is like for one specific person. I know I would say that sometimes, but it really does. Because there's no way this can resonate for everybody. Not the way how freaky this feels. Because I can, it almost feels like, you know, how you can have a puppet and a puppet master and it's pulling the strings. And that's what it feels like spirit is doing with you. But it's not out of ill intent. It's for you to be the blessing here to others and be the blessing on earth towards others. That, of course, spirit can't physically be here to do. So you're doing spirit's bidding. You're doing spirit's work. You're doing spirit's, you're fulfilling spirit's gestures of giving kindness, of giving light, giving if you will, hope to people that there are still good people in the world. And that's what this feels like. And that's why it just feels so beautifully strange. And it's not in a bad way. I just, I don't think I've felt the energy like this, Leo. But, but again, everyone you touch Right. We meet so many people on a daily basis, weekly and yearly basis that you forget most people you'll meet in your lifetime. But it's those things that you've done. Let me hold the door open for you. Let me get the door open for you. Let me pay for your meal. Um, you know, let me give you a couple of dollars to the person, homeless person on the street. You know, let me you know, I can assist you or help you or be there of help or there's you're, you're it's. Like, I'm, I'm just so enamored by you, Leo, because there's not a lot of people like this in this world. There's not a lot of people that are good, solid people, but I'm picking up on a Leo that's a solid, good, pure, intentional Leo. And you got to be so proud of yourself, but I don't know if you know the backside of what's happening as to why you're functioning this way or why you're doing these things right on the surface we can say i want to treat people like do i want to be treated etc etc but sp your your spirit's personal personal helper you're doing spirit's work and it the thing about it is your karma or i should say your karmic bank is in the positive right your karmic bank is increasing 
and you may not feel like you've received the same around, the same amount of rewards or blessings that you've given out to other people. You may feel like you haven't received the same amount of, you know, gesture or affection in return, the same way that you give it to other people. But that's not how this that's not how this works. That's not how this goes. That's not how this is operating when you're doing spirit spirits bidding. It doesn't work like that, right? It doesn't go I've been doing these things. I've been nice to people. I try to do my best. I walk through the world as a light and with kindness. Why don't I receive it back, right? Because then you're doing it with the intention of wanting to receive. That's not how spirit works, right? So in this energy, the way you're being used and the way I'm just channeling it for you, uh, Leo specifically, each and every person that you touch and you shine the light on and you bless they're able to bless somebody else. You're paying it forward and then they pay it forward. And the thing about you is you get it paid forward to you directly from spirit. Because remember, if I go back to the beginning of this reading, I said I felt like there's this barrier that's around you that's protecting you. So it's like even though you may struggle or deal with things in life, you never fully fall over. You are absolutely protected because you have a purpose here. And that's why you never fall all the way over like some people do. Some people crash and burn hard and never get back up. But you always get back up. You always keep moving because you are protected. You have that shield around you. That is your reward. That is your protection. Why is that? Because by giving you that shield, by giving you that barrier, by giving you that, you know, encapsule that you're, you're walking through life in. You're able to still do spirits bidding by blessing others and being that guiding light and walking light to others. But also on top of that, you still get to go after your blessings as well without crashing and burning like a lot of other people do that cannot get back up. And it's hard for us to see how great our blessings is when we're in the midst of the storm and all we can feel is the storm and we can't really see the blessings. But if you were to remove yourself from your body and look at other people's lives and situations, you would say, oh my God, I got it better made than them. I got it better made than them. And that doesn't take from what your experiences is, but again, you're being protected. And that's the, that's the blind spot in this blessing that you don't see. And that's where it gets a little bit weird because it's not meant for you to see. So I feel like I'm kind of exposing spirit secrets. Oops. <laughs> I feel like I'm exposing spirit secret right now because that blind spot, what I just told you, rewind that back. What I just specifically told you, that is your blind spot. You're not meant to see. Because if you if you saw that, you know what tends to happen. The ego kicks in, right? Because we feel like, okay, well, at least I know spirit's always going to have my back. I'm always going to be protected. That we can tend to just out of our own human self, we can kind of take advantage of that or feel like we're invincible at times. And we're not right so spirit wants to keep you in that element of not fully seeing the bigger picture here so that way you're still walking and operating in the space of oblivion that way the giving that you're doing to others and giving out to others is coming from humility it's coming from an honest sincere heartfelt place but you have your blessing in this and that's the part like i can see it i see there's three layers here leo and i can see through each and every one and that's so, it's so freaky. It, it's so crazy. Because I see what you do for others and how much of a light you are. And I also see underneath that, Leo, the intention behind it from spirit. And then I also see the blessing that you're getting from spirit that I don't think you fully recognize. And it's hard to recognize, again, when it's happening to you and you're the one that, you know, is going through certain storms. And it's like, well, I do all these things for others and I'm always nice for others and, and giving to others. But what about me? You're being blessed in the process. And I don't think you see that. And, I, and I'm seeing it like I'm seeing your blind spot here. Oh, my goodness. Leo, I was trying to get into your cards. I literally have them all here. But that is a channel message to whoever needed to hear that, that specific. Again, it's not going to resonate with all of you. But whoever needed to hear that, that is for you. I love you. Spirit loves you. Absolutely know that you are protected. You are guided. Continue to do the work that you're doing. Continue to put out that love and light. 
you are being blessed in the process and I don't care if it don't feel like it. I promise you because I see it. I visually see the, oh, I see it here. Leo, I love you. Let me go ahead and get up off here. You be safe. You be blessed. I love you.